been on my mind Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now And get in that car Leave a little note And we'll drive real far Hi friends, um, good morning. It is Thursday morning. It's already been a busy day. I got some pork tenderloin, carrots, and mushrooms in my slow cooker. That'll be dinner tonight because I know I have a lot on my plate today and I just don't want to get to the end of the day and have to feed the kids something just junky because I need to get them fed. So I tried to make sure that today we had a decent dinner. Yesterday's dinner was chicken nuggets and fries, but we finally have running water again. So um, excited about that. We don't have to go to my father-in-law's for showers and all that anymore. Cross your fingers, pray, everything else for us that the water stays working. Um, but I uh, took Bubba to speech therapy, took James to physical therapy. James should be out in the next five minutes or so. Bubba should be out about 20 minutes after him. And then we're going to go home, take care of animals, eat a quick lunch. We have leftover fries and nuggets still and some other leftovers. And we also have a bunch of yogurt that I made. So... Um, they can kind of decide on what they want for lunch today and then we have to turn around and come back over here because they have a co-op gym day today so they're going to come for that. I ran while James and Bubba were in their appointments and got some pretzels to bring so that'll be their co-op snack today to share and then they'll bring their water bottles. Um, yeah and then that'll get done around three maybe a little later. If I had any idea where my phone was I would answer it. Um, just a second. Okay, I am going to call this guy back about my insurance and the hail damage to my car. So I'm going to call him back and I'll chat with you guys later. Okay, I'm back. Um, so it was my insurance company calling me about my hail damage to my van, trying to get all that fi fixed and situated. Um, the other day they called me and said there was no tornado. I was like, uh, yeah, there was. It took out half the town. Um. Uh, but now today they called me and they said there was previous hail damage to my van. So they have to assess the previous damage and then look at my damage. But there was no damage to my van when I got it. So I've got to get my paperwork from the car lot and all this and email it to them. Long story short, I have no clue what I'm doing here, guys. Um, but they are making it a very difficult process for sure. Um, yeah, anyway, um, that's all I've got going on right now. It's just I'm waiting for them both to get done, and then we are going to get going home. So um, I'll chat with you guys after a little while. So for lunch, we have buffalo tenders, some cooked mushrooms, some honey, barbecue, chicken, some pizza, nuggets, fries, salad, strawberries, and a whole bunch of yogurt. When we wake Okay, I just ran a brush through my hair real quick while the kids are getting loaded up. We are headed to co-op gym day, and we'll be there till three or four, and then we're gonna come home. Um, for lunch, we just pulled out all the leftovers. Everybody had whatever they wanted to eat for lunch, and yeah, make it quick and easy. Dinner tonight, I just need to do some baked potatoes, ranch beans, and a salad to go with our pork loin and carrots, and that'll be our easy dinner tonight. Other than that, we're gonna get on the road. I decided to start some sourdough bread in my bread machine. I will share a recipe link in the description box below for how I made this. Once I finished the dough cycle, I took it out and actually baked it in the oven just so it would be a different shape than my bread pan. Before I sleep. Hear the crickets, see the moon. Sounds 
Bubba brought me some eggs from out in the yard, and now dinner is done. Here is our pork tenderloin with mushrooms and carrots, and then we have Caesar salad with it. I had mine over the top of my baked potato. Everybody else had their baked potato on the side. And then here is my finished bread just out of the oven, and I put butter all over the top of it. For dessert, I got everybody whatever types of ice cream they wanted with hot fudge and cherries on top. And then I went ahead and sliced up and bagged up our bread so that the kids and I can use it on sandwiches. Next, I'm going to make a different loaf of sourdough bread that is going to rise all night. So I have my water, my olive oil, my salt, and my sourdough starter here. I'm whisking it all together and then I'm going to add my flour and form this into a nice ball of dough. And then as this rises, I'll do my stretch and folds on it. Um, throughout the evening and until I go to bed tonight and then I'll let it rise overnight um, I'll share a recipe link in the description box below for this one but it's a pretty basic sourdough recipe Okay, so here is my dough ready to rise all night and do our stretch and folds on it. I went ahead and moved it to a clean bowl and I'm going to end this video here. I'm going to do some laundry and throughout the evening I'll do some stretch and folds on it. And then I'll, like I said, I'll just let it sit on my stovetop covered until tomorrow morning. Thank you guys so much for coming along today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment if you want to chat and I'll see you next time with another new video. Bye.